Hey fams, it's just another day in the life of a Tongan dad. I'm currently at the airport as I'm flying home to Western Australia. The girls just dropped me off. It makes me sad all the time because whether I'm going for a few days or a long trip, they're always crying. I moved to Queensland in 2021 and I haven't been back since then. So even though it's a short trip, I'm pretty excited. So one of the bros picked me up and I was staying the night with him because I got another flight to catch tomorrow to Carnarvon, which is north of WA. The next day, I caught an Uber to the airport to fly out to Carnarvon. And that there is Livingston Shopping Centre. My first ever job in Australia was there and it lasted 30 minutes. So it takes around two hours to fly to Carnarvon. If you drive, it takes about eight to 10 hours. So mum and dad's been in Carnarvon since 2000. And seven. So you can imagine the amount of kilometers we've racked up over the years. Now south of Carnarvon Town is Shark Bay and north of Carnarvon Town is Ningaloo Reef which are both major tourist attractions. I just landed and my sister and her little family picked me up from the airport. There are a few awesome things you can do in Carnarvon so if you're ever interested I recommend you jump on the Carnarvon Visitor Center website and check it out for yourself. As I mentioned before mum and dad have been in Carnarvon since 2007. The majority of my life here in Australia has been in this beautiful town. Now this here is the Bumbacks. They are the reason why we call Carnarvon home. Not only have they helped so many families in Tonga and in the Pacific. They've been the reason why my parents were able to put food on the table, a roof over our head, and quality education. Because of the Bumbax family, Carnarvon will always hold a special place in our heart. And as a family, we've reached some special milestones and achievements in this town, which I'm forever grateful for. Another thing I'll miss about Carnarvon is the beautiful sunsets. Now, I was only here for one night, so my sister and her family took me out for dinner. Shout out to my soul cafe. The food was spot on. Now, the next day, I had to catch my flight back to Perth. And even though it was just for a day, I have to say it's always good to be in the 6701. I landed back in Perth, and Navi picked me up, went to grab some lunch, went home and just chilled in the AC because today was hot. We got sick of laying around the house. I was like, bro, let's go for a drive. We ended up heading towards Fremantle. Now, here's a fun fact. I used to be a bouncer at Metro's in Fremantle. One of my fondest memories there was getting hassled by this intoxicated white girl not once but twice on two separate occasions and you guys want to know how i dealt with that situation well i married her <laughs> she still gets intoxicated and hassles me but i have to say it's worth it the next day before flying out to brisbane i caught up with the boys for a cold one because fams today was hot it was like 43 degrees that's one thing i don't miss about perth is the heat now we had dinner at this middle eastern buffet place and i give it a 10 out of 10 fam have you dropped me at the airport and i can't wait to see my beautiful family we have created a new home in queensland but wa will always have my heart All right fam Stay tuned for more Days in the Life of a Tongan Dad.